This is your boy Amari Points here bringing you the latest movie review. Today I'm doing my latest movie review on Hotel Transylvania 3 Summer Vacation. I just got back from seeing this movie today and it was just hilarious and a little heartwarming too. So yeah, Dracula is Dracula is at that point in his life where he's lonely ever since his wife died as most of you saw in the first Hotel Transylvania movie. She was killed by humans centuries ago and he's hoping to find that one woman in his life where he can zing. So Mavis thinks that he is stressed out from work so she decides to take him and the rest of her family on a vacation on a cruise. That is where he meets the ship cruise director Erica and he actually zings with her but he actually zings with her and it was just heartwarming but little does he know that Erica is the great great granddaughter of his arch rival Abraham von Helsing the dude he's the dude that hunted monsters a long time ago in the 1800s as most of you saw in the previews and everything so Erica makes it her sole mission to kill Dracula but during during the middle part of the movie I think she actually starts falling in love with him sorry if I'm spoiling it for you guys I can't tell but uh, I can't tell you what happened to her great great grandfather because you guys are gonna have to see that for yourselves what you guys are gonna have to see that for yourselves because I know most of you probably didn't see this movie yet so I won't spoil it for you but all in all Jindy uh, I, I can't not pronounce his name he's the creator of Dexter's Laboratory Samurai Jack and a few other t cartoon TV shows that we all grew up as a kid he's also the voice of Blobby in this movie which he did an awesome job as and as most of you saw in the previews Bobby pukes and he has like a little miniature version of him and it was just so adorable and we also get some pretty good take pretty good music in here that I actually was dancing in my seat to which, which off which every time I hear some good music playing I in a movie I'm gonna dance yeah I'm literally gonna dance but all in all yeah uh I love I love this movie and the cast was perfect. Adam Sandler came back as Dracula. He was he was pretty great. It was nice to see them step up their game with his character in this third movie, which I'm very glad that they did. It was about time they stepped up his character from the previous uh Hotel Transylvania movies. And as most of you saw, uh John, uh, Johnny's son Dennis gets a puppy and I can't say what but you're, there's an anime short for it so you're going to have to look that up and see how he got his puppy Tinkles and as for the rest of the cast Selena Gomez as Mavis it was great to see her back to like just looking after her dad thinking he needs a vacation and everything she is a loving daughter sorry she is a loving daughter who is only looking out for her father thinking he is stressed from work and everything I I really do love that about her she she is just a great daughter but she know in this movie as always in the first in the second movie she was really a uh, badass she was like kicking the crap out of all these uh, vamp vampires and and uh, we see her like be a uh, badass in this movie too, like near the middle part of the, near the somewhat ending of the movie. So you're gonna, so I can't explain like what she does in the, uh, in the ending of the movie because you guys are gonna have to see that. Also, Andy Sandberg as Johnny, uh, Mavis's husband. She was just, I mean, he was just pretty cool. Also, bringing the humor and bringing the humor and everything to his character as always that's what I love about him also Kevin James as Frank and David Spade as the Invisible Man Invisible Man 
that was pretty good too. I I honestly gotta say I love. I'm a huge fan of Kevin James. Uh, he always makes me laugh. He's one of my top favorite actors who make me laugh. And I and basically he just kicks at. He is just uh, one of those hilarious comedi- comedians along with David Spade. They both really brought a lot of humor in this movie too. I love that about this. I love that about all uh, this movie. It was just pretty phenomenal and the story was perfect I got a good laugh I got a good laugh especially out of the gremlin uh, out of the gremlin uh, scene with the airplane and all that I know most of you saw that in the previews that was just hilarious in, in so many ways I couldn't help but laugh at that scene I can't wait uh, yeah I can't wait to see what the rest of the rest of the cast do in future Hotel Transylvania movies. I can't say for sure if there's going to be a fourth one or not, but who knows? Since this movie did good, they might make a fourth one. I can't be certain. Also, uh, yeah, I want to get on to the positives and negatives. First off, the positives, because I want to, because I always want to start off with the positive stuff. Uh, the story was great. I uh, like I said, it was just perfect. Uh, I think everyone's gonna enjoy it. The music, like I, uh, like I also said, was just perf. Was just one of those. It it was the music in this movie was just music you just wanted to dance to, and get out your seat and dance. Because I almost did that, but I was just dancing in my seat, and that's how good it was. That's how literally good this movie was. You want to like get up and dance to the music and everything. Uh, what else? The acting was spot on in this movie, and and what else I can tell you is that it was just perfect. It was enjoyable, and so many other stuff I can't explain right now. And the director of this movie, Jendi, uh, like I said, we've seen him direct Dexter's Laboratory, Samurai Jack, and so many other t- cartoon TV shows. He really what he really brought his A game with this third Hotel Transylvania movie which kudos to him I really did I really did enjoy his work in this movie keep it up keep it up I can't really pronounce his last name because it's hard to pronounce and the negatives uh yeah the negatives were Dracula's father Vlad played by Mel Brooks he kind of he didn't really have that many scenes in this movie because considering it was supposed to be a family vacation, we didn't see him much throughout we didn't see him much throughout some parts of the movie which I really wish they could have done more of. They put they could have been they could have gave him a few more scenes in this movie because it kind of just really was a downer for me. It kind of was a downer for me and I was hoping they would like bring, give him some really good scenes, except, except his, uh, with the witches and everything. And my other negative is well, uh, I did, I kind of thought like she, uh, Erica, the cruise uh, director, was trying like really too hard to kill Drac in the open. She could have been more little less obvious and a little more sneaky trying to kill him because she was kind of like just well out there she she was kind of really predictable in in some killing scenes of the movie because well I thought she would be more sneakyish like I said she could have she honest to god could have been like a great grandfather and just been more sneakyish and not so obvious that was the only problem. Those were the only two problems I had with the movie, and hopefully that can, uh, they can work on that a little bit more, because I thought that would be, because for the next movie if they have one, can they need to work on that a little bit more, in my opinion. And on to the rating. I give Hotel Transylvania Three: Summer Vacation a solid. Uh, B plus. In case you guys can't see, let me know if you see it. Uh, I give it a solid B plus because, like I said, this movie was great. It 
but it had a little Erica Erica scene. She kind of, like I said, she was kind of being a little too obvious. You can predict what she was trying to do and everything. And what else I can tell you is that uh, what else? Another reason I gave it a B plus because it was just a really good movie. We see Drac re actually loosen up, relax on this cruise, on this family cruise. And we actually see him fall in love again. Because that's, that is something I enjoy really seeing. And, and that is something that really happens in his life. He doesn't, he hasn't left the hotel since his wife died, like I said before. And what else? Uh, the cast was perfect. I love every single member of this cast in this movie. I can't wait to see what else happens what else happens and what the future has in store for all the Drac pack as we call them and and I'm really excited to see where uh, Drac and Erica's relationship is going to go to and that's it for my movie review don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and also press that little notification bell at the bottom of my video to get notified when my next movie review is going to be and be sure to follow me on the Stardust staff at Amari 106 to be on the lookout for my latest movie reaction and trailer reaction. Uh, take care and God bless. Bye. Peace, everyone. Sorry. <laughs>